Hello and welcome to our guide to setting up your Zizel EX3301 Hyperhub router. First, if we sent you a new router, plug one end of the supplied Ethernet cable into the router's WAN port and the other end into the hyperoptic socket on the wall. If you already have a router in the premise, check that it's powered on and connected correctly. Then connect the router to the mains power using the power supply and press the on off button. Give it a few minutes and once the WAN and internet lights are green, you're good to go. If you've moved into a new build flat, your service could be activated automatically or you may need to self-activate. Please check My Account for more info about activation. If you need to self-activate, let's locate your fiber converter or ONT. These boxes are often installed in hidden or out-of-the-way spots like utility rooms, storage cupboards or under staircases. They're the source of your fibre connection. Take a note of the serial numbers. These will either be on the front of the ONT or back of the ONT fibre converter. We'll come back to these later. Next, let's walk through how to activate your hyperoptic service using the My Account portal. Once you're logged in, go to the Activation or Installation section. Enter the serial number from the ONT or Fiber Converter. If you've ordered Hyperoptics Broadband and Phone Service, you'll need to enter also the Router Serial Number. Submitting this starts the activation process. Wait for confirmation that your service is live. For the best possible connection, we recommend connecting your devices directly to the router using an Ethernet cable. To connect wirelessly, you can either scan the QR code on your router's Wi-Fi card or use the Wi-Fi name and password printed on the back of the router itself. If you've ordered Hyperoptics broadband and phone service, simply plug a compatible phone handset into the router's phone port using an RJ11 phone cable. Finally, for a detailed look at what the lights on your Hyperhub router mean, simply pause this video now. And that's it. Your Hyperhub router is now set up and your Hyperoptic service should be up and running.